So it gives me a great pleasure to be joined by Sam from Electrician's Guide to Everything podcast. You've been with us today, Sam. Thank you very much for taking the journey down to see us. We've had some fun off camera. We've had some fun on camera. We and have. It's the time to put you in the spotlight. You've put many of your guests in the spotlight on your podcast series. Um, many of the podcasts have been run through this uh, workshop, and uh, we're avidly waiting for the next instalment of that. However... You said to me off camera, you've got quite an interesting story about the gold card, something quite passionate and dear to your heart. Well, I wouldn't say it's a story about the gold card. It's a story of what the gold card can do for you. Like, let's not get it twisted. The gold card it is a gold card that you get from the JOB to say that you've got free qualifications. Actually, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean you're a good electrician, and you certainly shouldn't rest on your laurels once you've got it. So just, just for the audience here that we haven't got a gold card yet, as in the, the yeah. learners with us, they're all going through the apprenticeship framework, yeah. they'll have enough qualifications to get a gold card. <laughs> they will. Can you just clarify those three qualifications needed for a gold card? So to get a gold card, you need to have your level three sitting guilds, yep. which is, I don't know, our, mine was a 2330. Yep, we're, we're uh, uh, currently at 5356. There you go. And there's obviously other versions as well, EAL. Do the yeah, version, EAL cetera, as yeah. well. Yep. Uh, you do your MVQ level three. The, the MVQ being the portfolio aspect of your the portfolio. Yeah, they've changed that now. It's it's a, it's a, a, a set of evidence within the standards, but everybody still calls it an MVQ. Yeah, there's oh, one okay. of those. Yeah, there's You're one right. of those. And then obviously the AM2. Oh, and that's changed for us. Lot. There you people go. People in to AM2S, which has got a little bit more install work. I think there's a bending steel conduit. Joe's done a video on that. Oh, so they've gone back. Yeah, they've gone back to what the original there was a lot of containment. There was it? containment and wiring. Now they were then just there was wiring. Yeah, just, just wiring. wiring. That's and what that, I've done. Yep, yeah, and now, oh, now there's some containment and wiring. So they've right. got, they've sort of found a halfway house for that. Okay. Um, so yeah, so that's what the guys that's that we're better. doing. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, you, I've been I've for a long time I advocate a harder um, AM2. Three or four on the day, can you do it and can you demonstrate skills? Yeah. Maybe, I'm not suggesting this happens, but with photographic evidence and witness statements, there is an element of, uh, yeah, within that, whether, whether it's... I had to put that through a couple of filters there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so have I. <laughs> we'll go with that. <laughs> okay. yeah. yeah, so... No, so the, the three basic elements of a gold card. Now, a lot of people might be like, oh, well, I do commercial, I do um, domestic work, I don't need a gold card. You're right. You might just want to get your uh, level three qualification and be happy with that. The great thing that I found with the gold card is it's like the uh, golden ticket, if you like. You can always go and earn a decent amount of money with your gold card. And do they not set the standard for, if you're a gold card, don't you get a certain minimum wage or is that changed no, now in the top? No, oh, is that all no. gone? So I'll explain a little bit. Um, we'll get into, into that side of it in a second. But for me... I went through a very bad patch in life. Um, I was misdiagnosed with like something quite, quite terrible. And I fell off the wagon and I ended up at homeless uh, for a very brief period. Um, I was a drug addict, homeless, I had nothing. All my family had gone, everything. And I was just, you know, I was a horrible person doing bad stuff. Mm. Um, <clears throat> and then eventually, you know, one, one turn or another, I, did, I managed to get hold of 600 quid. Right. 600 quid, I borrowed 600 pound, and I got a room in a house, and I had just enough money left over to get a ticket to work. So I bought a weekly ticket, and I started phoning around agencies. I phoned around a load of agencies, and within an hour, I'd, I'd got myself a job to start on the Monday. Okay, brilliant. So that allowed me, so just that gold card allowed me to go and earn, at the time I think it was 170 quid a day, boom. I hadn't, I hadn't picked up a tool for, you know, maybe 18 months, I hadn't picked up a tool. And that was in that yeah. period yeah. where you were yeah. personally struggling? Yeah, yeah. personal, all these issues. But the gold card is your, is your golden ticket, your Willy Wonka's golden ticket to go and, you can get yourself out of anything with a, with a gold card because you've got the ability to... Now you've got the ability, the average wage is about 200 quid a day, to be able to go out and earn that 200 quid a day. So it doesn't matter if you're a residential or commercial or industrial, if you have that gold card, there's work out there. And, you know, there's ups and downs with work. Now is a very quiet time out there. But if you apply yourself and, you know, you get out there and you get on the phone, you start beating down doors, you can go and get yourself 200 quid a day. So it doesn't matter what point in your life you are, whether you're 50 years old and you've been sacked from your job, 
you can phone up an agency going on 200 quid and still look after your family. Whether you've come out, whether you've come out of the worst time of your life and you want to get back on, the, get back in the seat and take control of your life again, you have a very unique ticket to getting your life back on track. And that's something that's very important and a lot of people overlook with the, with the gold card. It's, it's something that agencies always, always ask for. And that's how you get your top rate and the most jobs out there are for gold cards. So you get that and you'll always be able to get your money. And that's you know, quite moving in places there that you've had that dark period in your life and obviously we've seen how you come out the side of it with your union and obviously the podcast and working with uh, the electrician of the year. I think you'll find you're lucky enough to be working with him. Yeah, you know, so I took the edge off the atmosphere there. Can I just side. say something that really annoys him? <laughs> what, that is the I'll, electrician of the year? Go on, I tell plucked us. him from obscurity <laughs> and made him the electrician of the year. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you make him put himself forward for the election? Yes, I did. So, so really, it's a joint prize. Well, we'll get to that in a sec. So me and Rick, we... Uh, so Rick actually won the Electrician of the Year. Did Listen, he? Mate, I didn't know that. Yeah, he did. did he? Okay. And he won it because of our joint venture, something called the Electrical Workers Branch, which is a union for electricians that me and Rick founded and created and turned into something that helps electricians every day. And that was one of the bases that he won it. I didn't go for it because, as you can see, I'm not the greatest electrician in the world. Well, so, well, well, no, 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 no. What makes you say that? Uh, well, you know, sometimes I can be a bit slow, a bit clumsy and cut myself, you know. Is it because you just had a go at the, and I think we've actually almost lost the footage, which you were quite pleased at and you wanted another go. Um, what, Sam, me winning? Sam, Sam was fair play that you had to go at the Apprentice uh, Challenge. You set a time somewhere in the 11-minute range, was it something like that? That's a lie. <laughs> we That's like alive. embroidery here. We don't lie in this college. Oh, okay. We embroider the truth. Is that another bad word? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dr. Kanga there, yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> so, and you took on Alfie, who's been off the tools for what seems like an eternity. He spent most of the time gelling been his hair. Been off the tool for three weeks. Oh, so, okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's six months. So, and I think it was close. It was good fun, though. And fair it play to you. We got, the, we got the crowd going, didn't we? Had a bit of cheering yeah, and all fun. the rest of it. And, and I think that's fun something... Fun being the key word. I think, well, that, I think that's what you guys do very well, is you, you bring a fun element to... to you know, learning, which, let's be fair, can be boring sometimes. Oh, no one wants to learn at this age, especially, look, look at them, they're like, where's this fat geezer going to shut up? Oh, no, no. <laughs> they're thinking that's me, by the way. Oh, that's okay. so, so, yeah, Rick, really, yeah, so there's, there's some, I think you're going to include some of the more material on one of your podcasts. You're going to go a little bit deeper into those, those times. Is that yeah, what you're going to do? We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna do a podcast all about me, okay, which like is well overdue, <laughs> let's be fair, right, <laughs> about my awesomeness and everything. But, no, it's just, it's just about the whole idea about being an electrician and just getting to a certain level and then plateauing is something that, you know, it's quite appealing. I'm an electrician, I, don't, I can sit back and relax now. But the whole point of what the EGT is about is about exposing people to um, inspiration and getting them motivated to, keep, to continually develop. Right. Like, I, for a long time, I rested on my laurels, like not pushing my... Um, professional development yeah and people do they get, do, you get comfortable don't you, you, well, mean, you, you do. just sort of like you know you get into what name you, you know what you're doing every day you put the tools you go to the same location or several locations and you sort of cut and paste your life through it's only yeah. when you have a reflecting moment isn't it? yeah but the, the other thing is as well it's about being smart with your choices when it comes to um, I wouldn't advocate being a, a um, power and lighting electrician for the rest of your life okay I, I would say Really try and diversify, um, get your skill set as vast as possible until you find something that you really click with and then go down that path and, and, and find, find something that you're really passionate about. Because as they say, if you enjoy what you're doing, you never work a day in your life. Yeah, and I think me and Joe, uh, Marcus and Matt can agree with that. Yeah. We come into work, it's great fun, it's hard work, but actually we love it, yeah. so the days fly by. But you all started out as, as Sparks. We did. You diversified. We did. You found your, your true calling. Yeah. What you don't want to be is, you know, it's been mentioned before, a bitter and twisted spark. I mean, I work with them every day, and they're, and they're telling me how bad the job is, how bad their life is, and all this. And it's because they're doing the same thing they've done since they was 17. Yeah. So there's a, the great thing about the electrical industry is it's so vast. There's so many things you can do, from BMS to solar panels, offshore wind farms, all kinds of things. There's loads of stuff that you can specialise in and get extra qualifications in, but it's about being smart with your choice. You know, if you're, if you're going to be just a general um, installation electrician, like a lot, an overlooked one that will probably bring you more money than any other qualification is an IPATH, which isn't really even... 
even an electrical qualification, but that will really help you find work out in, out in the big wild world. So I think to summarise that, and is you're saying that those three fundamental qualifications to complete the underpinning knowledge of your yes. qualification, in this case 5357, five, yep. to complete the body of work that is evidence of working on site, yes. and then go on and complete your skills test, which is now AM2S, actually is the, the setting up point of opening the world or the door to the electrical industry, which is so vast, yeah. and experience as much of it as you can on the bit you really enjoy, and then just work and, within and those just go areas. Down that yeah. Go down that path. It, it's such a... It's a, it's a gift having a trade. It's a gift having yep. a trade. And, yeah. and you'll always be able to support your families. And, uh, and even if you don't have families, you'll always be able to have a nice time and, and buy yourself nice things and go out and get drunk. Oh, on that final note, where Sam's off to get himself an alcoholic beverage, oh, we're not. going to end this uh, with a normal way. Do you know we're going to do the... We hope this video has been some help. Okay, so you've not got to the end of one of mine yet. So, no. So we, no, okay. So we're going to do the, the thumbs up thing. Okay, so, exactly. y Yeah, because it's part of the rule. And we leave this bit in where you can look all confused. Instead. Yeah, you can do Yeah. So, me and Sam hope this, well, quite emotional journey for Sam, which may be uh, further investigated on the podcast series. It will be. We hope this video has been some help. <laughs> it's actually an exclusive. Okay, oh, I like the word start with that. Starting with exclusive. Right, am I going or what? No, 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 I'm in with you. Do you have to be? It's kind of still in my limelight, bro. That's not mine. I know. Oh, it's funny though, isn't it? <laughs> Should be mine. Huh? The apprentice will sound. <laughs> he's in luck, the apprentice will sound crashed. I don't think I can save it. So it's, uh, it's uh, you look at that, so. Well, I'll do it again. I'll do it again right now. Right. Round two. Yeah. Round two, bitch. There's enough witnesses. Did you win the Apprentice Ball Challenge? No. No, that's on camera, you see. That's fine. So every live's a mic's alive. So I, 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 I took a picture and put it on our group with uh, Dan and Nick. So I'm on a, well. Best behaviour, no, no swearing. Well, I can't guarantee that, though. I can't try. Can't you bleep it? Yeah, because the college know what you've said.